Hey everybody, uh, I'm Alfred, and I fucked up the recording. Uh, so yeah, there's a whole episode that I just didn't fucking record. Luckily, now, um, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I, uh, I went to go look for some bonus stuff. Um, and I'm really gonna need a new gun pretty soon. Because, yeah, I'm starting to run dry on my old faithfuls. So I came here. I kind of wish that guns and small guns... Or rather, um, so in Fallout 3 and the ones before, guns used to be two skills. Big guns and small guns. And they turned that back into... They, well, they turned that into one skill in New Vegas. I don't know. I kind of wish that you could still spec for small guns because that's honestly what I like, you know. Just a reliable, like a smaller shotgun, a revolver, a pistol. It also means that a lot of guns are actually combinations of two weapon types. So, like, a large laser cannon is actually big guns plus energy weapons. Yeah, I used one of the fucking weapon binding rituals and it really fucked me up. So, check this out. There's just a guy here. And he's got some stuff. And he's supposed to have a gun around here as well. But you can see that he's very dead. And has been for some time. But he's got a tape so we can listen to that. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. They like the book. Started on with stories, but moved on to weapon manuals, medical books, practical stuff. The notes, well, it's embarrassing. It's like those cards people used to give to each other. Everything's sweet and loving. Tell them to read them and to learn and to make the most of their new home. I'm telling them giving them the Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives so far. Sorrows man has visited on man. Tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them to never hurt each other. But if that if someone comes along, try to hurt them. Strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note of the father. Well, just because. Have I mentioned I'm dying? Mine's still sharp. Lungs are the problem. That's the cancer. Costs getting worse for months. And finally, there's blood in it. Getting harder to visit my little friends. Breath so short. I'm getting away most of what I own. They find the rest in the caves when they get older. I don't want them to find me, though. The father is a broke-down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. It's cold enough I won't last long enough on the high mound up to the red gate. I think I've got just enough breath in me to make it. I'll lie down and stare at the sky. I feel right. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few notes. Said something about each one of them. Told them what makes them special. Told them that the father was pleased by their kind natures. It was up to them to learn how to handle things. That I'd be watch that I'd be silent but still watching and caring. Lying then. Oh yes. Lied to you, Char and Alex and Sylvie. Told you I'd be with you forever. But I wouldn't go back. And unsay it once if I could. And unsay it once if I could. It was the point of it all. So many failures. But I never could forget your face. Or a little nuts. Or sorry, Sylvie's. They used to say that after a while. It happened after a while, but it never did to me. Maybe the point of all this living was to keep those pictures in my head for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you. Not a day went by without. It wasn't choice. I chose to die again and again. Just never did. Body had its own drive. The little ones will need it. Species will need to continue if it's over species will need if it's to continue that blind drive onward i wish them well it's been a gift to me and the end of it all to behold innocence goodbye zion randall dean clark february 5th to january then oh here it is yeah he had it so this is apparently one of the best guns in the world which is partly why i came up here 
I also do still intend to explore the rest of everything. I've got five more snow globes to find, I think. Let's try it out. That will do. That will do. Tomahawk buried in that guy's spine. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I turned my audio down and the game audio a little up because it was a little quiet. I keep having troubles with stuff. I don't want to... Big horn bluffs. Perfect. Come over here. Well then, let's get to trading. Yeah, that'll do. Trying to keep uh, bighorn meat on me at all times, just so I never run out. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. So I'm also rendering another one of the episodes right now. So pardon me if uh, gameplay is a little choppy. It's not supposed to be, but, you know, could just be patient, but I really wanted to record another. Yeah. Ranger Station Eagle. Wow. That'll do. Just nicely. See, I guess I've got to find all the ranger substations, and I suppose I might be able to see them from where I am, because it looks like that's what that is. All right, let's finesse my way down here. This gun is too good. Let's let's switch out for a bit. Oh, that's it. Sorry. This club is dope. It reminds me of a uh, Spade Slick's horse hitcher from Homestuck. Ooh, yeah, Ant Nectar. I think I might still be addicted to that. I'm not sure. What? Oh, I'm being shot at. Got to try to save it, you know? Okay, let's start pumping some stuff. I think that's good. Because I'm so low on health that I just have to, like... Tank it until I can get over there. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the episode that uh, got lost. But uh, Obama actually likes guns like this. Oh, I'll just take it all. Keeping my dis well then, let's get to trading. Um, yeah, you take that and that, that, and that. And you know what, one of those. Maybe I'll leave him with like my, my maxed out war club. Though I don't know if that's actually maxed out. Well, let's get some more manch on her. Now is actually a good time to eat some of these. 
though others will leave me too light. Hmm. Yeah, I really, I honestly really like the uh, system used in Fallout New Vegas survival mode. I don't know if it's what they should have made the default be in Fallout 4. But yeah, the, the difference between survival mode and normal mode in New Vegas is really, really satisfying and clear. It's a little... Overlook. Overlook. That's good. It's a little irritating in uh, Fallout 4, but there's a lot of things that bug me in Fallout 4. Ooh, who's, who's down here? Last bullet, come on. Really? Dude, I had her. Alright, hand it over. Big horn. Black coffee. That means still gives me bad stuffs. Okay. And water. Cool. That'll do it. Over here. Gave him my... Uh, yeah, I think I did. Damn. Yeah, it's honestly really satisfying. Because you always are eating stuff, but in here you're always getting it. This, this DLC is where um, survival really works. On the other hand, this DLC has such little radiation. So then again, who knows? Did you guys know that radiation actually preserves food? Virgin River. Yeah, radiation preserves food. Because um, like most decay is caused by bacteria, and radiation will kill bacteria. Is this where I dropped that Vault 22 jumpsuit from so long ago? Because that was at the start of the DLC. Deuce Guy Cave. All right, I feel good. That compass thing always knows where north is, huh? Even yeah, I've been here. Cool. Uh, let's head north again. So yeah, the only issue with eating irradiated food is that it's radioactive and you might get cancer in your jaw, which is pretty bad. Fuck, you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, that's a way to solve a problem, I've got to say. That will fix some... That'll fix it. That'll fix it good. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. All right. That's not wise. Let's not do that, huh? Hey, nice. Uh, yeah. That's something I've got to stop right quick. Oh my god, look at my health. They don't make it easy. I mean, I guess they can, but... 
It's not supposed to be easy. Uh-oh. Fuck me, you kidding? You know, maybe I will get the bad ending for this DLC. Hunt a mesquite, huh? Because the good ending is, um, it's a speech check to make sure that people don't die. I need my H. Here we go, healing better. Okay. God, can you guys start to give me more things that'll allow me to prepare my shit? My weapons, specifically. I know cowboy repeaters are dead easy to find, but I don't want to ditch this one just because I'm out of ammo. Gotcha. I really do like it for some reason. Last bullet, make a count. Well then, let's get to trading. Okay. Cowboy repeater. Lever shotgun. Give me that. Blade gauntlet. Manus gauntlet. Sledge. That's all good. Cool. What else do I have in this thing? Okay. Yeah, I haven't bought ammo in a little while. Not to mention I had to ditch a lot of it to even get here, since uh, it has a 100 pound weight limit. Though that weight limit is actually 75 pounds, and you just need to make a survival check, but everyone neglects to mention that. Ranger Substation Eagle. Have I been there? See, I love this. I love... Okay, I have. I love checking the map and, like, cross-referencing. It's one reason why I really love the game Firewatch. Which is a beautiful, amazing game that I don't know if I will Let's Play because I don't know if I have the strength to. That is a emotionally difficult game. Where's that? Oh, yeah. I wish there were more games like New Vegas. I really want to play some New Vegas mods as well. Maybe I'll do that later. Like the big-ass DLC-sized mods. I love those. There's this one that I really looked uh, wanted to play. There was this mod for Fallout 4 that I was, like, almost considering buying Fallout 4 just on PC just for that mod. But I was like, no. Because it's one of the mods where it makes shit heavier. And so your carry weight is even more of a problem. But because Fallout 4 has the settlement system, you have to worry way more about what's in your pack when you have to schlep shit across the wasteland. And it also removes fast travel because that makes it harder. So it's just a, it's a slog. But there's a different mod called Fallout Dust, which is essentially the same thing, but for New Vegas. Um, Fallout 4, Frost has, um, nuclear winter hit Boston. So it's all snowy and cold and shit. Whereas in, uh, Dust, the cloud from Sierra Madre 
uh, the DLC that we'll be playing next, I think. Uh, yeah, that cloud makes its way into the the Mojave like everyone s suspected that it could. And uh, really ruins everything. What's the sitch? Where are you going? Ah, oh, there's a guy. They're ganging up on him. See, are we sure that... God. That was kind of extreme. Hey, he's the evil one, though. Take it as a fact, I guess. Good kill, huh? Northern Fork Camp. That seems like somewhere where there would be a lunchbox. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Winnie the Winnebago. I've got to say, I'm just plain delighted that you've come to visit me. Sure is a long drive out here. Even worse when your tires have all rolled away. Such is the life of a Winnebago. Jesus Christ. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. That's okay. That's a little better. There we go. Maybe I'll start going with some of these, right? So yeah, I'm just trying to finish uh, collecting all the environs here. I want to make it a little easier on me later when I have to like quick travel everywhere and get all the shit that I missed. I'm not sure if that'll be on camera. I actually intended to get right back on the main quest after I picked up the survivalist rifle, but... Then there was just so much other shit that I had to grab. It's a whole thing, you know? Let's try one of these. Wow. Well, it got me more than it got him. What's... What's happening? Why are you doing that? Why did you... You're a motherfucker. God damn, I'm legitimately salty about that. That fucking guy. Alright, we've actually made our way over here, which isn't too far, but let's head to the fishing lodge. And then let's get back on back on track for the main quest. Unless we discover some more stuff along the way. Yeah, I think I want to head this way. See if I can grab stuff. Oop. I smell enemies. Scorpion. Hell yeah. I just I just have so so many misgivings about holding on to one bullet from one ammo type, especially if it's a gun that like I rely on a lot. Oh boy.
Because you know what? I've got 20 of the damn things. May as well use them, right? Especially if they're overfilling my inventory at this point. And hey, you know what? For everything else, scotch. Oh, he's being like that, huh? I thought they couldn't swim. Clear water docks. Float fly. Just a little guy. See, I'm practically kissing this thing with the tip of the shotgun. Oh yeah, aren't those from the Divide? Which is where the final DLC takes place. And I know for a fact that that's the final DLC. Because Lonesome Road is meant to be the grand finale of the Courier 6 and what that is and who that is and what that means. As well as a culmination of the, you know, shenanigans you've been getting. All right. Minus the whole getting stuck in trees thing, I'm doing pretty well. This is for Piranha Plant getting added to Smash before Joker. Wow. Spore Carrier Sap. Vault 22, Dweller's Guard Camp. Oh my god, that's everything. Well, shit. Man. Abominations. I gotta say, I love the Gunrunner's Arsenal. I love all the little perks and shit that you can do. I think that that is a fantastic addition. I'll give it all to me. Okay, I've got to go back to Josh and grab some shit. Damn, and I was really close to here. I guess I can just quick travel back to here, though, so... Because, like, I'm not going to get any closer to where I was without going back, so... Wait, no, it's in the eastern version, right? Yeah, Angel Cave. Joshua, look at his eyes, man. Oh yeah, apparently they also fucked up his eyes. I don't really need that. I don't want that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that or that. Okay, and now you're just going to start handing some stuff over. Lord. Oh, wait, that's a gun, isn't it? Yeah, I don't need one of those, fam. Thank you, but no thanks. Um... Actually, hold on. I guess I can get specific here. Yeah, most of these are things I've given to him. Hmm.
I'm going to need some of these again. So yeah, I uh, did that whole thing just so I wouldn't have to do this on camera, and then I did it on camera anyway. A different one, but still. Let's see if there's anything else I can pick up here. Yeah. Definitely going to need that. Don't think I have any of that. Don't carry any of that. Don't carry that. Cool. God. Okay. Didn't happen to get a cowboy repeater uh, ammunition though, did I? Let's get to trading. Gonna need more of those, right? Oh god, where'd you go? Come back here. Wait, hold on. First. Perfect. Welcome back. Alright. Trade with me, Joshy. I don't really want this or this. I don't need this, 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 or this. I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't need that. That's cool, but I don't want it. That can go, that can go, that can go. Now. You are gonna give me my water back. I know, uh, I feel like such a ding dong for selling him all this shit that I would have needed. Just comes up and surprises you, you know? Ah, well. Yeah, hollow points. Those aren't crap. God, I guess I'm going to start asking him for shit back now, then. Okay, that'll do. Wait, so if I keep that... I'll miss you, old friend, but thanks for the, uh, thanks for the company. Where are you at? Where are you at? Hey. Well then, let's get to trading. Take that. Actually, no, I'll keep that. I'll keep those on me. Everything I've got on me is just guff now. Okay. All right. That's pretty fantastic. Welcome back. All right, this is going to be the last one and then we're going to go hit the trail. Start moving back up to where we're supposed to be. That's a really good healing item, so hold on to that. And you know what? I've been getting a lot of these. It's out of ammo anyway. So I'll bid it farewell.
Wait. It's too expensive for that. Shit. Ah, uh, whatever. That's fine. Keeping well then. Let's get to trading. Okay, put that in your bag. Everything else is too dangerous to give him. You know? Like, I can't have him hold more armor. Or, uh, more weapons, rather. Because he's just gonna, like, blow himself up with it. Or me, you know? I can't give him that... That's a risk, but I'll take it. Okay. Now, we will return back to the... Back to the path again. Okay. Maybe we gotta snake our way out of here. Okay. Sorry, a little break with there beside with me not saying a lot of important things. You ever seen anything like these green men? Sure as anything, they aren't from around here. Ghost dead men. Okay, I heard about this bug, so let's see. Sure. You are going to leave me some. Fine by me. Get. So maybe he has quick regeneration, or maybe that bug never got patched. But evidently there's this bug where uh, if you switch between what you want them to do rapidly, uh, they'll get confused and their health will just fill up. Which seems like a great way to get confused about. Imagine that you just like got so distracted that you forgot that you were sick and dying. That's power, you know? Found like a buffalo graveyard? Or what are these things, big horners? No, the horns are too small. Brahmin, maybe? Oh, yeah, so Fallout's banned in a lot of countries, and one of the countries it's banned in is, uh... India. Because the name of the two-headed... cows... are Brahmin. But Brahmin is a, uh... part of the Hindu religion and an important caste in Indian culture. So, you know, that's banned. It's banned in Australia because Australia doesn't like fun games. I know Fallout 3 is banned. I don't know if... Or it used to be banned. I don't know if all of them are. Um, it's banned in Japan because you can launch nukes at people and they're not 100% on that. I think you might actually be able to get a 360 copy of Fallout 3. But in it, you can't get the Fat Man. It's like skating everywhere. Yeah, actually, now that I think of it, the f uh, Japanese copy of Fallout 3 is preferred because uh, it's the quickest game to speedrun. The quickest version of the of Fallout 3 to speedrun, at least. Carry all those caps anyway? they jangle like crazy. Crazy. Grimy pre-war business wear. It's great, but I'll leave it. Something that really pissed me off in Fallout 4. In Fallout 4, you have so much more crafting options, but everything you make still looks like shit. Like, you find, like, an old, shitty piece of something that's been in someone's armpit for 200 years, or it's been underground, or it's been getting rained on, or some shit like that, you know? That makes sense. It would look like crap. And in this game, the stuff that's clearly old, but isn't a piece of shit, because it's been maintained very carefully, and it was, you know, good, solid engineering from the get-go. 
Um, but in Fallout 4, you make stuff fresh, completely new, out of raw materials, raw iron and stuff. And it still comes out looking like a hunk of shit. It drives me bananas. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this. It does look pretty fly, if I do say so myself. Sun Sentinels. You know, I'm not I haven't given too too much thought about how I would like to be buried once I'm dead. Um You know, I've told some of my friends Ash Diamond. But if I have to be buried, I'm cool with the idea of a cairn. And for those who don't know, a cairn is just uh where you stack up. Uh, it's it's a grave in areas where it's too hard to dig a grave. So you just pile up uh, little stones in to, to cover a body to preserve it or protect it. Give it a little place of, you know, memory. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Oh, God. And yet I'm so close to not being overweight. Come here. Come here. Well then, Crack it open. Let's get to <sighs> Here, I know what I'll do. I'll go to ammo. And I'll put some of these in ya. Then I'll have enough to carry. And it still isn't enough. God damn it. Well then, let's get to trading. I think I'm gonna make steaks tonight. Okay. I wish there were more shops here. I know it, ma it makes sense that no one would buy my stuff because they have no bottle caps. But it'd be nice if they had a bunch of, like, materials or, or things that, you know, you would want to barter for. And then a very small amount of bottle caps that you can just use as, like, a, a, a medium, you know? Dude, I had it. Oh, God, that sky takes me away every time. Gotcha. I got him. Also, it was an infant. Do you feel like a winner? Do you feel powerful, follows Chalk? Can you, um... Can you poison a bullet? I guess it wouldn't make sense. Like... Oh, your son died from very fast-acting lead poisoning. Really? Oh, no, he was shot. But, you know, it was lead, so we thought, you know. The toxicology report showed he had a lot of lead in his body. Turns out those were all bullets from him being shot. Yeah, I'm just thinking that poisoning a bullet doesn't make too much sense, although it would be nice. I I imagine the work, you know, the realization of, oh, my God, someone went out of, the way, out of their way to poison a bullet. Because a poison arrow makes sense in war. Like, poisoning a, a, an arrow doesn't make sense if you're hunting, because it just causes the animal a painful death. Uh, and it can also make the meat poisonous. And again, this is another thing where I am saying poison as the generic, but what I actually mean is envenomed. Let's drink a couple pounds of soda down, huh? I would love for a rebalance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. I would love for a rebalance of survival mode to make more difficulty originate from combat and more common combat and more medic more medical shenanigans going on, as opposed to shit happening because you just got fucked up. It's so coming up here, we're gonna meet uh Waking Cloud, I think her name is. 
or walking cloud. So yeah, the sorrows all uh, have all these little caves off to the sides here. She's down here somewhere. You are the one Joshua waking cloud. Sent to us. Blessings of the father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I like your bearer glove. Where can I get one? A sorrows Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. What's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. Midwife? No, I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. Which is, you know, why everyone is of middle age, young adult, or, you know, a little older than that. It's not because they didn't want to put children in this game because you'd kill them. Definitely not. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever seen it, but there's this absolutely hilarious perk that was cut from Fallout 2. It was one of those things where you do a challenge, get a perk. Um, it was a thing that massively negatively affected your karma. It was the child killer perk. You got it for killing a child. And the image is of Vault Boy kicking a pregnant woman in the stomach. <laughs> it's the fucking funniest thing. What do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? Well, give me some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the holy books. Holy books? Yes, the language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Let's talk about something what else. You speak of? Have you not heard of the God of the New Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the New Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the New Canaanites. I have seen the Father's images. His Holy Bride and Holy Son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see, that's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. So if you recall... Then I will look forward to... We've met the father. He's that skeleton with an amazing gun. So yeah. So something that uh, I discussed and I'm pretty sure got lost, which I'm pretty salty about. It's my fault, but something that comes up in this DLC a lot is... Let me start over. If you kill, if you kill follows chalk, like 
So if you kill Follows Chalk, you fail this quest. Civilized Man's Burden. Uh, so that quest is a reference to a Rudyard Kipling uh, poem. Uh, it is a poem that begs uh, white people to go and uh, colonize the world so that uh, they can bring civilization to savages and shit. I fucking despise Rudyard Kipling, and if you don't know who that is, he wrote The Jungle Book. And also The White Man's Burden. Those are the two things that he's primarily known for. So yeah, him begging people to go colonize is bad look, I've got to say. It's a bad look. You know, just... Ugh. Oh, God. It's just not great. That's... Ugh. I hate... I hate Riyad Kipling. Um... I hate him worse than Robert Frost. I think he might be my, my least favorite poet of all time. Anyway, that's a whole thing that I don't have to, don't need to get into right now, but. Uh, I'm looking for Daniel, and then I'm going to go to Whitebird Cave and start the uh, she quest. No. Okay, so maybe it's back this way. It's so fucking dark. Oop. We're getting lighting bugs. Not to be confused with those little fellows who are actually called fireflies. Anyway, my favorite uh, use of the phrase white man's burden is in the uh, Spanish-American War. A white, uh, uh, white American soldier saw a black dude there. And uh, of course, he used the N-word because it was the style at the time. But he basically asked, what are you doing here? And the guy said, I'm picking up the white man's burden. That guy's cool. Don't know who he is, but based on that alone, I will consider him a cool guy. That is an apparently real story, but it's pretty apocryphal, so it might not be complete fact. Anyway, yeah, so that's the best thing that ever came from uh, Ruyard Kipling. Also, a okay Disney movie, and a crappy remake of it in CG that features Fall Out Boy and fucking Rick Christopher Walken. But anyway, it's used to discuss something. This is not necessarily the intended uh, opinion reached, but the the protagonists of this DLC are... Arizona Tex, the Courier, you know, Courier 6 is the canonical name of this character. Um, okay, I think I'm getting closer to it. So yeah, Courier 6, Daniel, and Joshua. So they're unsure what their true path forward is. You know, should they bring culture, religion, and, you know, intelligence to these quote-unquote savages? Um, and for the reference, that is a word that I use because it is occasionally used in game that I do not consider these people savages. That is incredibly impolite. Actually, hold your horses, Daniel. I'm going to talk here for a sec. Um, and it's kind of impetuous of them to think of the people in this valley this way. That isn't necessarily how they think of them, but it is kind of, you know, ooh. Should this be what we're doing? Um, and from that point of view, you know, it is kind of interesting. I think that it's kind of weird that they chose to make it like very obvious parodies almost of Native American people with um, to, to discuss this. I think that kind of spoils it a little. Um. And I suspect that that might not have been their intention as well. Friendly Gex. But anyway, yeah. Ultimately, you can really view um, Daniel and Joshua as impetuous fools who are just kind of 
sticking their nose in a place where it doesn't really need to be. Because I kind of believe that, you know, even as I, I kind of am um, of the opinion that they don't really, really need to be here. I know they help, but, you know, it's not too big of a deal. But, you know. The attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Why are you, what do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. So yeah, it's it's another thing involving the fact that they're meant to be like missionaries. But yeah, it's it's one of the reasons that um it's one of the reasons that this DLC isn't as well loved as the others, because like, oh god, was this in the lost episode or not? But the other DLCs are wacky 1950s sci-fi brain robots and pseudoscience that would fit in a shitty B movie from the 50s, but is just ridiculous now and is tongue in cheek. You know, it, it treats it very humorously in acerbic, like classic Fallout would. Um, another one is a survival horror set in Sierra Madre Casino that's based off the treasure of the Sierra Madre. Uh, and then the last one is essentially like almost like a Dark Souls DLC where it's like, remember all those challenges? We've upgraded all of them, you know? This is your final exam for not just the combat in this, but as well the uh, the story and themes of this game. And this one is just like, yeah, you're helping Mormons bring their brand of Christianity to the people who don't need it. Like, I don't like or agree with missionaries in real life. But yeah, the the primary reason people play this DLC is to get the survivor's gun that I, the, the survivalist rifle, rather, that I have now, uh, to see Joshua Graham, to get his weapons and armor. That's kind of it. Anyway, you said you used to help the sorrows with the problems. What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. So, um... Actually, wait. I'll let him finish this. Has this happened before? The White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers, anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. Okay, I expected them to talk about the White Legs, but the White Legs are mentioned to not know how to farm, and part of it is because of the people who founded the tribe, and part of it is influence from Caesar and the other fools. Um, and so, in, in a way, it is kind of possible to pity the White Legs, because, like, in the most, in, for the most part, they're kind of almost treated the way that one would treat, like, an orc, you know? Just, oh, it's the always chaotic evil race, you know? And typically that's kind of problematic whenever you bring it up. And so to change it so it's cultural or a magic thing or that it's just that they have a bad leader right now is a little better. And to make it like this, where it's the people who built and founded this tribe and then the people who influenced it later, and then they literally just don't know how to farm and stuff, so they have to raid because otherwise they'll all starve. It is possible to kind of pity them. I'm not sure if that's intended, but, you know, it's a whole thing. Anyway, the White Legs are here already, so what's your plan? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. 
Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. There you go. We head there. We can find some safety. Of course. I need some medical assistance. Can you help? I should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? I need medical supplies. I can provide medical. I need to address problems as. <laughs> Thank you. If I can help you in some other way, don't hesitate to ask. Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Ooh. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. Or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Anything to help, I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. All right. So yeah, him saying, uh, you might see more guys is just the game's way of being like, uh, so there's going to be some, there's going to be some stuff. You're going to run into some, some guys. Can I push this to 50? I can. Let's push that up then. Okay. Ooh, that's not bad. I like that. Heave ho. Hunter. Huh. -uh. Got 75 critical damage. That's great. Intense training might be good to grab. Swift learner. I already have a couple of ranks in Swift learner. I don't want to get cannibal. Entomologist is too situational. Traveling light. I'm going to need that. Let's see. Mad Bomber. Toughness is going to be useful, especially since I'm going to be wearing light armor. Grunt. Quick draw. Sneering Imperialist. It might be good to grab this, but honestly, I don't, I don't think I want it on this character, you know? Strong back. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to grab strong back. Maybe. Let's grab travel light. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I need some medical assistance. Can you help? Should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? Yeah, you don't. Actually, I think I'll be fine. Um, supplies. Ah, oh, fuck! Really? I understand. Okay, can I put on something that'll boost my barter? No shit. Can I eat something that'll boost my barter? Oh, I can. I, I have one of those. 
salesman. I'm glad to see you're still with. Me. I'm trading pre-war goods and supplies from the Mojave wasteland. You need those too, don't you? I do. All right, I can provide you with. All right. Hand them over. That's going to wipe them out pretty much immediately. Oh, Lord. He really doesn't have a lot, does he? Let's see if we can get rid of all the heavy shit at least. Okay, it's working. Ah, oh, damn. Take that back. Take Binos back. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can get rid of. Oh, what the hell. I'll take it. Yeah, Daniel has nothing of his own now. He literally only has what I have sold him. All right. Glad I was finally able to get rid of those things. Uh, packet of fags. Get rid of those. Gecko egg. That's everything I don't need. I could get rid of that. Let's see where that puts us. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty close to the end of the episode. So I may as well just cut it here. So, uh, yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.